What up? Easy Overdose here. I just wanted to make a, a follow-up video on the one I just did uh, about DX Toy settings and get a little more into the sound settings because uh, there is an issue with the way this records streams. It'll record when you record your mic and you record your game sound it'll put the sound in two different audio streams um, and if if you go back, if you record it like two streams and then you go back and try to like preview your video, you're only going to hear this number one channel. So I have my speaker set and I have microphone on two. Uh, if I made a video and I went back and you know watched it and went to listen to it and make sure everything came out all right, I wouldn't even hear my voice. It's there. It's just most uh, like Windows Media Player, VLC Player. They just they don't play two audio streams simultaneously so to, and a lot of uh, video editing doesn't let you record two audio streams to the final output uh, file one video editing uh, piece of software that does is Sony Vegas it lets you okay I, I've been trying to figure it out I don't like Sony Vegas I've been using a Cyberlink power director um, but it does not let you record to audio streams and, and merge it. It's something to do with like copyrights and, and some other bullshit. I don't know how they can use that excuse when Sony Vegas lets you do it. Um, but it's some bullshit. It's stupid. Uh, it doesn't make much sense. It just makes uh, you and me, anybody trying to do this, it, it makes us do an extra step and spend more time uh, to make it work. And to make it work, you go down here to AVI Mux and so you made your video go to AVI Mux click add and remember this is only for when you record microphone and speakers so we're gonna find us a folder here and we're just gonna use one that doesn't need it. Uh, so it's going to tell you your destination folder and where it's going to put it. It's going to put it probably the same with the old one. Uh, this is the video codec. If you plan on editing the video farther after you merge these two audio streams, you leave this on no encode. Alright? If you want to just merge the two audio streams and be done with it then you know you on your codec pack you would want the H.264 codec and then you could go ahead and like you know uh, compress it on the fly Then for audio codec I use the same codec that I use over here uh, PCM over here so I'm going to use PCM over here I'm going to set the format to the highest number I have over here so on this one I have my speakers are, are playing at like 96 uh, hertz, 96,000 hertz, kilohertz, and then the microphone recording is set to, you know, 192k. So since that's the highest one, I'm going to put this to the highest one. And since uh, this one's 24-bit stereo and this one's only 16-bit mono, I'm going to put this one to 24-bit stereo as well. And then we just click build. Now this takes a long time depending on the file size like if, you, if you're making like a 200 gigabyte movie and it's a 200 gig source file and you have a hundred uh, megabyte read write speed hard drive this is going to take an hour no joke it's gonna take forever and you don't really want to be doing a whole lot of shit in the background uh, while it's doing it it's kinda like an overnight project either that or if you're um, if you have extra hard drives, you could you could do whatever you wanted to. But if you're going to be playing stuff, if you're going to be, you know, doing stuff that's like strenuous and does a lot of like read writing on the hard drive that you're actually making this file to and reading the file from, it just make it an overnight project. That way the uh, the end file doesn't turn out like crap because it can, uh, depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, one thing about this is. When this file uh, finishes and you preview it, 
it's possible it might look laggy and sound laggy like it will just chop non-stop like freeze frame and chop and that doesn't necessarily mean that the the final output file after you edit it and, and change the bitrate is going to be like that um, so you know if, you, if the file doesn't turn out right and like right as soon as you start hit play it's just like chip 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 just chopping it looks like shit sounds like shit looks like a slideshow sounds horrible um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, going to turn out like that on the final output it just means that it recorded in such a high bit rate that your computer just uh, can't you know play it back uh, fluidly even even mine does that and I have uh, you know I have a Intel i7 3930k 12 core or 6 core, it's 12 threads. So, let's open some stuff up here. So, there you go. 12 threads. And well, I'll show you here. Let me see. I'm recording to the drive, all this stuff is on, so it's going to load a little bit slower than usual. So I mean, the the playback is more about the read write speed than the computer. Um, as you can see, I got you know, like I said, uh, new i7 six core. It's overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. So I mean, like blazing fast, and even mine plays it back choppy sometimes. You know, it's all about how quick you um, your hard drive wrote the file to begin with has a lot to do with it. Um, and you can kind of see this in action if you open your task manager and then you open your resource monitor and let's say you make a movie and it has this choppiness I'm talking about just open this up and then go to this one right here the disk and you'll see uh, windowsmediaplayer.exe or vlcplayer.exe you'll see the read speed will be like maxed out it will just, it'll be like 100, 120, 130. It'll be maxed out. Like it's reading as fast as it can possibly read, but that's not fast enough because of the bit rate that it recorded it in. So whenever you, uh, you know, encode the file with a compression codec like H264, whatever you use, I recommend H264, it, it'll change that bit rate. It'll lower that bit rate significantly. And then the output file could be perfectly fine. So if that's the case, you know, just give it a try and you know make an output file with it you know if anything take and trim it down to where it's only like 20 seconds worth you know if you don't want to if you got a long ass movie and you don't want to waste two hours three hours four hours however long it takes your computer to uh, you know encode a movie just trim it down to like 20 seconds and, you know find a 20 second spot where it's got you know a lot of like stutter in it and then uh, make a movie out of that 20 second clip and see what it looks like and uh, you know, if it works, go back and uh, untrim it, and you know, make a full movie out of it, and you're good to go. So, hope it's a little insight on what's going on with the uh, audio streams. So, thanks for watching. See ya.